Hey everyone, Dylan with On One here, and I want to show you my three quick tips for enhancing skies inside On One Photo Raw 2019. So my first tip is a very basic one, but it really helps if you have a darker foreground and then a brighter sky in your background. And that tip is to simply play with your exposure and shadow sliders to even out the brightness across your image. So what I want to do is I want to even out the exposure between the sky and then these mountains in here. Well, I do that by pulling down on my exposure to bring some life back into my sky. And then I can head down to my shadow slider to bring out all of the details from the darker areas in my photo. So now if I zoom into my sky here, and let's look at a before and after, you'll see it really brings in a lot more life into my sky, adds in more detail, and I can see a lot more of these clouds in here. Now let's zoom out, and remember to head back into your tone and color here, and then bring in a little bit of contrast, just so your image doesn't look so flat after pulling up on the shadow slider. My second tip is to use adjustable gradients on your sky area so that you don't alter any areas in your foreground. So I have this photo here, and all I did was pull up in the exposure quite a bit, and the shadows and added in some contrast so that we could see the dad here and his son. Let's hit the backslash key on our keyboard and you'll see I just pulled out some of that darker detail. Well you'll also see that this sky area is really blown out and actually pretty bright. So let's add in some nice detail to it by simply adding a local adjustment layer. We'll go into our local adjustments tab, we'll make sure we're set to darken, and we'll go up and we'll grab our adjustable gradient. You can also grab it by holding down shift and pressing K on your keyboard. Now we can just drop this down on the horizon line here. We could play with the exposure a little bit to darken it up even more. And now if we turn this off and on, it does a great job of pulling out some of the brightness from our sky and bringing in a lot more detail. And if we wanted to remove this from the person here, we could just hit K on our keyboard, make sure we're set to paint out, turn on our perfect brush, and then we could just paint out that darkness from the dad. There we go. So that's a quick way to tone down your sky by using local adjustments. And my last quick tip is to use local adjustment layers to quickly paint light and color onto your clouds and sky areas. So I have this overcast day right here and I want to sort of mimic a sunset look. So I'm going to go into local adjustments, I'm going to go into my local adjustment layer and I'm going to turn on paint with color. Then I'm going to change the mode to classic and now I can paint with color and modify the different tonalities within that local adjustment layer. So we're just going to go and choose a color. We're going to choose a nice orange color. Then we'll grab our adjustable gradient and we'll drop it down. And then we can just turn it how we like to get sort of the sunset look. Let's play with the opacity a little bit. There we go. Now let's do the same thing for the bottom area of our photo. Now I'll hit K on my keyboard to grab my adjustment brush. I'll make sure I'm set to paint out. And I'll just lightly brush away some of this color from these boats in here. There we go. Now let's hit the backslash key on our keyboard. And you'll see in not a lot of time, we've really kind of mimicked a sunset look over here. And you can always go back in and readjust these opacities to make it more realistic or natural, however you see fit. So those are my quick tips for enhancing skies inside On One Photo Raw 2019. I'm Dylan with On One, and stay tuned for more.